My, just, my mind's blown. You know blown. that emoji with like the the the, the... yeah, that was it that's for sure. That, yeah. that's, that's that's the vibe that's for right. sure. Hey vlog fam, welcome back to another vlog. So I'm about to make dinner and I thought I'd show you guys because I don't know if I've ever shown this recipe on a vlog. Um, so this is how I make my like WW style pizza. It's literally made with two ingredients. Two ingredient dough has changed my life. Let me show you. And it's super filling. I know people are gonna ask. This t-shirt is from an Etsy shop. I'll Link it below. So it's super filling because it's literally just made with plain non-fat Greek yogurt, which is so filling and very, very nutritious. And you mix it with flour to make a pizza dough. Literally, like once you mix the two together, it forms a dough. It's kind of wild. So I make this for me and Yara all the time when we're creating pizza. And I'll show you guys exactly how I make it. So you're gonna wanna get self-rising flour. I have also done it with not self-rising flour with like um a whole grain flour a whole wheat flour and it's honestly just as good um it's just a little more of like an authentic pizza vibe with the rising flour so let me get my little tripod so i do about a cup of flour i used to measure it now i just kind of have gotten used to how much it looks i just take a big scoop of greek yogurt and i kind of do how much feels right to create the consistency. You can see as I start to mix it, like it starts to kind of form like a pasty <laughs> dough. This is hard to show. I'm not gonna lie and tell you it's easy to make. Well, it gets easier. You kind of learn <laughs> routines, um, but I'll usually put some flour in my hands and just do it with my hands. Um, Cause there's like a bunch of yogurt in the spoon, but you can see that it's starting to form a dough. So let me just mix this up and then I'll see it's starting to form a dough. So eventually it looks like a ball of dough. I put it down on some parchment paper and it takes a while to kind of work out. But I slowly just stretch it. You can use a rolling pin too. That's probably easier. Um, and then I'm just going to fill up this pan and I'll do half mine and half Yarman's. Yeah, it's like literally pizza dough. So let me just get this all flattened out. All right, so Yar's actually really hungry, so I'm gonna make him this all his own. And so this is crucial. I have the oven preheated to 450. The most crucial part, which I've learned, is that you need to season the dough first, and then we're gonna bake it for about 10 minutes on 450, then take it out, add our toppings, and bake it for like another 10 minutes. Um, so I'm just gonna do salt, pepper, garlic powder. All right, 10 minutes later, out it comes. Then, like I said, toppings on and back in for 10 more minutes. Just a little pizza sauce. And I just threw on some mozzarella and turkey pepperoni. Um, on mine, I do fat-free mozzarella for zero points. And I'm just gonna do some light blue cheese, buffalo, and some chicken breast. And boom, after 10 more minutes in the oven, it is crispy and perfect, um, and it's way more filling than normal pizza and a lot more nutritious for the dough, so let me know if you guys end up trying it. Good morning, vlog <laughs> We are having some breakfast before we go to the furniture store. We're gonna go shopping at Jordan's today. We need a new bed frame. But yeah, avocado toast, cauliflower hash brown, Yarman's favorite ketchup, Sir Kensington. No, I was just gonna say, do they know this is like the best ketchup in the world. You tell them about it. It's so good. Although, I am missing just regular classic Heinz ketchup. This has such a unique taste. What's that um brunch place we went to? It was on Broadway in New York. Oh, oh, what was it called? That was so good. Dean. It wasn't Dean's. Was it Dean's? No, but it was called like a name like that. Yeah. Like it was called some sort of just like name. But anyways, it was super good. And that was the first place where we got introduced to Sir Kingsington's. And Is that the first place? Yeah, because it, it, it pairs perfectly with, like, hash browns. Oh, yeah. Like like those diced up potatoes. Mm -hmm. All right, poll. Is a hash brown considered, like, this? Or is it sliced up potatoes? 
Well, when I buy the or like the, the shredded out. ones, yeah. they say it's frozen frozen shredded hash browns. Oh. So I think this is a hash brown, and then the other ones are shredded. <laughs> or is that morning talks? Brown? Or is that a hash brown patty? Oh, there are levels to the hash browns, y'all. There are levels. Um, but seriously, I have talked about these hash browns. There was a lot of ketchup. <laughs> They're so, so good. Um, like I can't describe it. They taste just like the McDonald's ones. Oh my God, I put too much ketchup. What's a girl to do? But I do love ketchup. Um, oh, actually, I'm liking this ketchup. I think what the problem is, is that with this, the vinegar or something settles and you like have to shake oh, it. Oh, is, that, what it, that, is yeah. that why it's been like extra spicy lately? Like yeah, that? yeah, yeah, yeah. So I shaked it a lot. It's better now? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Also, this is the first time I'm trying um, this like low point bread. I've tried a lot of low point breads, but this is one that like people rave about. It's called six four seven bread. Um, one Sounds point. Like a zip code. I know. Right? It's good though. It's better than the no carb one from Aldi's. Interesting. Yeah, like this is like perfect. This is like real bread. I'm just along for the ride. <laughs> so today we're gonna head to. Jordan's, we might stop for lunch after, not sure. We'll see where the day takes us. All right, sorry, I forgot my camera at home vlogging on my phone. Um, I put on some makeup, just felt like it today. Um, and we are at Jordan's. We actually filmed a podcast for Yar. I'll link his channel below. Check it out. It was a good one. We had a lot to chat about. So, um, got a Diet Coke here. It's not McDonald's, yikes. You gotta what do what you gotta do. What did think of your Coke challenge? Oh, I don't think we prefaced it enough in the video about how we got one Diet Pepsi for like, um, to see if I could tell which one was Pepsi. Uh, Cause like some people were like, why did he get a Pepsi? Like this is a Diet Coke challenge. It was supposed to be like a little like- A throw off a to little, see if you can tell the difference. Yeah, exactly. So that's why, but um, everyone agrees McDonald's has the best Diet Coke. Everyone yeah. agrees. Um, so we're gonna put our masks on and I'll take you guys along furniture shopping. Oh, this mask smells like your uh, your Bath and Body Works scents from home. Oh. I like that cinnamon. Like, is it nice or too no, much? No, no, it smells good. Oh, okay. Little hack right there. <laughs> Store your masks with like candles. Right? I kind of like the wood. It's not like our plan, but this is dope. This kind of fits. Oh, Bubba. It's part of Magnolia Home. Yeah. She's most of our house. It's like modern rustic. Yes. I didn't know she had furniture. Oh, well that, I like it. Price? $5.99. For a king though? Well, $5.99 is a queen. It's probably not too much more. See, and I like the black accents. Yeah, does it, but it, when it matched, the wood be black no. I think you can match different tones of wood and it looks okay. Because okay. see how they have a light wood at the yeah. end? So I think that would be okay. Okay. Me looking at that crib like, hey guy's too funny the mirror right behind the bed frame we just chose is the one we have in our bedroom right now the exact one i think we're gonna get this one in a different color though a different color it's a bit lower we're getting measured for the mattress <laughs> all right so at jordan's we didn't have much luck um with desks um since i'm looking for a new desk they didn't really have any <laughs> they had like a couple yeah. um so and they were like super expensive so we just swung into home goods i was a good girl didn't get carried away right well i was talking and you kind of ignored me for the first 10 seconds but sorry i got, oh, distracted. Yeah, got distracted but they had an good. olive leaf tree and i wanted an olive leaf tree but we're at home. we're just gonna pop into home sense real quick um because they have more furniture here and see if they have any desks and he also needs a tv stand for his office Ooh, fall stuff Yes, yes. Usually the furniture is on this side. Right. Well, maybe not. Oh, look at all the fall stuff. I guess I don't really know. It used to be all over here, but it seems like there's some back there. Ooh, this is cool. I didn't see TV stands or desks. Yeah. Um, just couches really and little tables but I'm, I'm gonna be good. I'm not gonna look around, eyes on the prize. But yeah, it's like this. This is the exact one I saw at 
home goods. Oh, okay, we're at a stoplight. We just picked up some pad thai for Din, and we're gonna go home and watch The Social Dilemma, which I've heard good things about on Netflix. Is it a documentary, Bob? Yeah, it's like a documentary hybrid drama. Okay, we'll let you know. Pad thai from a new place. Let's see how it is. Good morning, everyone. I just got up, washed my face. I, I can't, I just can't make this look cute when I know I'm about to go work out. I just, what is the point? There's no point. Pizza for breakfast is a jet. <laughs> he said he feels like a child. Mm. Like you're getting to, um, like that moment where you know you're like, oh my God, mom's letting me have pizza for breakfast. Meanwhile, I'm having, I just was craving an apple and peanut butter. It just sounded really good. Um, so this peanut butter is, if you're looking for like kind of a, a healthier peanut butter, cause like I, I respect the people who can mix almond milk and PB2 and call it peanut butter, but it's not peanut butter. It's doable, but it's just not, it doesn't feel like I'm eating peanut butter and like peanut butter is so good. So um, I discovered this brand called American Dream Nut Butter and this is Brienne's cookie blend and it has like a little bit of like a cookie blended into it. And it is so good. It's like low sugar, high fiber protein or something, but um, it's really good. It's much lower point than like regular peanut butter, but it's, oh my God. Like sometimes I will just have like a spoon of it for a snack. Very filling. Um, so good morning. I am about to go do a Peloton workout and I have a couple errands I need to run today. I need to go to the post office and last night we ended. <laughs> I should have vlogged it, bub. You should have vlogged it. But we were just in the moment. Oh, we were just in the moment at like seven, seven, was it seven? We both just got the urge to rearrange our offices. And we do this. <laughs> we both have like moments. It's like a mukbang, I'm sorry if you guys don't like chewing. Um, we have moments like where it's like late at night. It's like that feeling you'd get when you were a kid too and you're like, I wanna rearrange my room. So he got like a new piece of furniture um, for like a little TV stand to organize his office and it looks really nice. So he rearranged and I took his old desk because as you guys saw yesterday, I'm in the market for a new desk. Um, I just wanted something a little bit bigger. So I ended up taking his old desk and we just rearranged a bunch of stuff. I rearranged my whole office pretty much. Um, and it feels really good though. It feels clean. It feels like the feng shui, it feels really good. Bubba. I did not talk to them last night, but I told them that we had watched The Social Dilemma and I wanted to give them our opinion. I know that's a lot right now. I'll let you finish your pizza um, because we have a lot to say about that. Um, it was by far the best thing I've like, ever watched. Best documentary, easily. Like, I don't even know where to start with it. So it's, how, how do I even describe it? It's basically going into like the world that's been created now uh, with social media and everything and how it's affecting our lives and how it's gonna affect the future and how much deeper it really goes the way they explained it and depicted the story to like explain it was so good how do you even explain it like i so I was trying to explain Sorry, it to I'm my mom. Turn my pizza off. You finish your it's pizza. Right. I was trying to figure out how to explain it to my mom last night, and I was like, "You just have to watch it." Like, so, yeah, it's so much deeper than we even can comprehend. So this is like my like minute spiel on how to explain this documentary. Okay. So there's obviously benefits to um, social media mm -hmm. in general. It connects us. You know, it allows us to do a lot more things with our devices. It was right? created with good intentions. It was created with good intentions. Right. But what this documentary um, exploits is, you know, it shows, you know, the the downsides to that and the unintentional or unintentional, whatever, um, effects that it has on humans. And one of the key quotes that they said is like, you know, if you're using something for free, if something's for free, 
um, you are the product. You are the product or something like that. So it's basically saying that, you know, if you're not paying for the product, you are the product. Yeah, like every and we are being we are so deeply being monitored with every little thing we do on our phone. The algorithm, AI is tracking every little thing and doing everything they can, tracking your habits with your phone to get you on your phone as long as possible to make more money for advertisements. Right? And that's exactly what it is. Like it wasn't like for the, what I got out of it is that like it wasn't, you know, the intention wasn't malicious, mm -mm. but the effects that it's having to us as humans is what's, you know, alarming and, you know, what should drive change because um, at the end of the day, you know, that the, the algorithm, like they put it, was to, you know, just to have a, 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 a commercial purpose. Mm -hmm. It was, you know, to make money and, you know, whatever that entails, whether it's spreading, you know, misinformation or spreading, you know, just to get the clicks, just to get the likes, just to get the engagement level high. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the main purpose of the algorithm was just to provide all of the information so the user could stay stuck on their screens. Yeah, it's they had it as like a storyline of this teenage cool. boy, the way they did it, it like. Oh, God, you just you need to watch it. Like, and if you click one thing, the and it's with the the fake news part is the is the scariest part to me. Yeah. That there's so much fake news, and it, they said fake news travels six times faster than real news. Was that on Twitter? Um, I don't know, but it was a. Or in general. Statistic they put out. Um, I don't know. Either way, uh, I just recommend they. They watch watch it. it. You know, if they if they're interested in them or any of this, it's it's really a good watch. I think everyone should watch it just so you can be aware of what might be affecting you more than you even know. Like, my just, my mind's you know blown. That emoji with like the the the, the yeah, that was it for sure. A, yeah. that's, that's that's the that's vibe for sure. I I have so much I could say, but like, there's just, oh my God, you just have, have to watch it. It's a must watch. Um, I literally get cried at the end of it cause I just felt so overwhelmed. Um, but it's better to be educated and overwhelmed than to just not know and be potentially affected negatively. But we were talking after we we're like, okay, what age do we let our kids have phones? Limiting screen time. We were oh, like, that's a big discussion. That's a big that's a discussion. discussion. But thankfully we're very much on the same page about it. Like, we're both going to be very mindful with our children and phones. So, anyway, good morning. Can <laughs> you order Splenda? Can you want me to order Splenda? Yeah, from Instacart. I, I love you and I appreciate you. Do you want like packets or like just however it comes? How, however it comes. I just really like when I make tea. I like one packet of Splenda. Okay. I don't know if it's good for me. It probably isn't. But uh, aspartame. <laughs> said it right this time. <laughs> I need my app. So before my workout, having a Celsius, I just cut Yara's hair. You did really good. Thank like, you, Papa. This is like... This is my best fade so far. Actually, come over here to the natural light. Yes. Low tapered fade. I love it. Um, if you guys want to learn, I found this really good YouTube video. Um, he's going to do his beard on his own, but I'll link the YouTube video if you want to like learn how to do it at home because the guy was very, um, very helpful. Yay. You're good. Thanks, babe. You're good. Almost about to work out, but I just got this in. I ordered this online. It's a pumpkin chai diffuser, like an oil diffuser from Nest. And they have really good candles, so I thought this could be kind of cozy to have in the house. Because um, I've never tried their oil diffuser, but like I said, their candles are bomb. Like pumpkin chai sounds amazing. So it looks like this and it's cute like it looks nice like on display you know so i want to let you guys know how it smells it sounds amazing rather than having to like always be burning a candle you know Ooh, pumpkin spicy masala chai cardamom ginger and cinnamon kitchen vibes oh. i'd have to have i'd have to have him do this okay This looks like alcohol. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. It looks cute, you know? Ooh, that smells so good. I'll let you guys know if it like fills the room and how it is. 
Okay, workout time. Okay, just finished my workout. Whew, that one, that one was really hard. It's funny, like, <coughs> oh my God. It's funny how like some rides feel harder than others. Like it just depends on your body that day. And like that one was really hard, but by the end of it, I just pushed, pushed through the pain, pushed through feeling like wanting to give up. You just have to push through. And then by the end of it, you feel so accomplished and like proud of yourself for pushing through. That is everything. And that is like one of my favorite mental aspects of working out. Like afterwards, you're like freaking it. I did that. That was really hard. I don't know if I could have done that in the past. Oh my God, you scared me. That workout was really hard. How was your run? Good. The shoes were better. They were? Yeah, you so sure? if you guys don't know, I've been on the hunt to, um, Bubba just went on his run. Um, I've been on the hunt for like a pair of cycling shoes that don't hurt my feet, because I get like an ache in my right foot. So you guys recommended moving the clip, is that what it's called? The uh, cleat. The cleat part back. Um, and it was definitely, it hurt a little, but a lot less. It was a lot less, so lot it's bearable. Less. Yeah, just my right arch. It's really weird. Okay, but good. It's a step. And, and you were off the saddle, and you were like going, it was Yes, good. that one was really hard. My heart rate got to 170. Oh, wow, yeah. Yeah. Anything around there is pretty high. Yeah, it was good. High intensity. It felt good. That's good. Yeah, it was really hard, but it was good. Yeah, good job. Thanks, Papa. Let's get it. How was your run? That was good. How far did you run? a decent one. Oh, uh, like 2.7. What a baddie. What a bad baddie. So guys, I am about to take a shower, but I thought first I would show you guys how I have the office set up. I'm really feeling it. Feeling the new vibe. So updated office tour commence. So still figuring out if I want to keep that lamp in here or not. But when you enter the room in this little section now is where this is now. So if you guys didn't know my previous setup, um, sorry, it's a little dark, should I put on the light? Um, I got all of this pretty much from Home Goods. And it just kind of feels like a little entryway to the room. Um, I love it so much. Got my little plant, a little jewelry, crystal, a candle. And then I can always keep this here to turn on these lights. And so this is the new overall setup so as you guys can see my desk now is a lot bigger <laughs> so over on this side of the room i now have this mirror right here which i think is really nice because i can take more outfit pictures because i kind of struggle with that i move the mirror in our bedroom as well because i love being able to, to show you guys what i'm wearing in a little mirror picture so um i just moved this here um, and I threw some of these pillows just to make it a little bit more cozy. So we have that there. And then over here, um, I just hung up this little macrame chandelier vibe I got off of Etsy. I was gonna put it up here because this is the old chandelier from, I think this was a little girl's room, uh, with the previous owners. So I want to swap this out. I just don't know when, but I'll keep you all posted. So. Um, over here, I just using my Alex Nine drawer filled with um, makeup, and I got that candle holder from the past at Home Goods. It used to be over on this little table when it was over here, and I just went ahead and put like a candle, these little flowers, and lotion on this little crystal tray. And then I am gonna keep my ring light right here. And so since this desk is so big now, I plan on making this side like makeup for when I want to film myself getting ready and I can just throw the ring light on and the camera and just be ready to go. I ordered like this big mat so I can keep the desk clean because that always happens with me in wet desks. Makeup gets on it, it stains. So this side is going to be makeup focused and I'm going to do some more organization with that. I'll keep you posted in uh, future vlogs and then on this side is going to be like work. So it's like fun, work, Yes, even though they both intermix. Um, yeah, and if you guys haven't seen this, I need to write my week out, but this has changed the game for me. I bought this on Amazon or Etsy. I'll link it, but where you can write your week out, it's just, uh, it helps so much because I use my phone calendar, but like visualizing and seeing it, I don't know, it helps me for some reason. So 
And then I put this tree from downstairs and I swapped out because I had a different small plant up here. I just swapped them out. And I kept one of my small little Alex drawers right here for like office things. And then I put the extra one from the old desk in the closet for storage. And then right here is the same, but I added a few more pictures to this little gallery wall. Um, one of my followers made this and I just adore it so much. And this is me and Yarman's first text convo post Bumble and my mom painted that. I'll link my mom's Etsy shop if you wanna shop her watercolor art. But yeah, this is the new setup. I um, really like it. The vibe feels really good. Lots of different cute places to film, which is <laughs> crucial, you know. So that is the updated office tour. Uh, I'm going to wrap up this vlog here and start another one. Fun things ahead in next week's vlog. So don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram for like behind the scenes. I like to post on stories pretty much every single day. And I love you and appreciate you guys being here so much. And I'll see you soon. Bye.